The Lives of St. Ched, Bishop of Essex, and Duma, Bishop of Mercia and Enlightener of Middle Anglia. Our Holy Father Ched, together with his brothers St. Chad, Chenabil, and Chalin, were Anglian boys educated at Lindisfarne by Saints Aidan and Finan. In 653, St. Finan baptized Peda, king of Middle Anglia at the king's village of Wallbottle at Hadrian's Wall in Northumberland. The king returned full of joy, and four Northumbrian priests, one of whom was Ched. The others were St. Diuma, Betty, and Ada. The apostolic work of these four men was very successful. However, King Oswy of Northumbria, who became overlord of Mercia after King Peda's death, then decided to send St. Ched to the kingdom of East Saxons, which had reverted to paganism after the death of King Sebert and the expulsion of St. Miletus, Bishop of London, earlier in the century. And so, with the blessing of St. Finan, Ched and another priest set off to re-evangelize the land whose king, Sigbert, had just been baptized. This mission, too, was very successful, and soon St. Finan consecrated Ched to the episcopate. As bishop, St. Ched built churches and ordained priests and deacons in many places. Thus, at Bradwall and Sea, he built a church out of the rubble of a Roman fort, which is still standing today. He built another monastery at Tilbury, where an early Saxon immersion font that may well have been used by the saint still survives. The saint often returned to Northumbria to preach, and on one such trip in 658, he was given land for the foundation of a monastery in Lastingham in, in Yorkshire. This came about through the intercession of Ched's brother Chalin, and the monastery was built by another of Ched's brothers, Chenabel. St. Ched consecrated the monastery after fasting and praying for 40 days. Blessed Ched played an important part in the Synod of Whitby in 664, which ended the schism before the Celtic and Roman churches in England. Although trained in the Celtic church, he wholeheartedly accepted the Roman Byzantine Pascalian. He acted as an interpreter between the Celtic and Roman parties. St. Ched died of the plague in Lastingham in, on October 26, 664. On hearing of his death, some thirty monks traveled north from Bradwell on Sea to live near his holy relics. At first he was buried outside the monastery, but then his body was placed to the right of the altar in a new stone church dedicated to the Mother of God. St. Egbert, abbot of Iona, was once discussing the life of St. Ched's brother, St. Chad, with his friend, St. Hybald of Hilbudstow, and said, I know a man in this island, still in the flesh, who, when the prelate passed out of this world, saw the soul of his brother Ched, with a company of angels descending from heaven, who, having taken his soul along with them, returned hither again. Our Holy Father Dioma, the Enlightener of Middle Anglia, was of Irish origin. He was one of four priests, along with Saints Ched, Betty, and Ada, who were sent by St. Finan, Bishop of Lindisfarne, to evangelize Mercia after the baptism of King Peda. When Peda died in 654, King Oswy of Northumbria ruled Mercia for a few years. And in this period, Duma was consecrated bishop of the Mercians and Middle Anglians by St. Finan. He worked many miracles. He worked mainly among the Middle Anglians and died in a district called Infemingen in the year 658. He was buried at Chadbury in Oxfordshire. The Orthodox Church celebrates the memory of St. Ched of Essex on October 26th and St. Duma of Mercia on December 7th. Holy Bishops Ched and Duma, pray to God for us.